Hello everyone, I'm Andy Sufwind, I've just flown in. And today we are back with more Colonel Sanders, a dating sim. I know that's not the real name, but I can't remember what it is. Anyway, <laughs> last time we began our adventures, we met our rivals, we met our childhood best friend, we've met some interesting characters, and oh yeah, we met him. <laughs> As well as Professor Goodboy. Who's your good boy? I don't know why I gave him the most femmy voice I can pull, but... <laughs> anyway, last time we left off, it was time for lunch. So let us go eat. Om nom nom. Wow, the cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant. Well, I would hope so. Yeah, it, looks... it looks pretty standard, actually. Anyway... Nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. Yes, agreed. The delicious fragrance wafts through the room and tickles the end of your nose, your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Everyone, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? God, I hate you. No, I, I just want to apologize for my tardiness. Yeah, you see, I was... Howdy, folks. Ah, I'd love to make an announcement. Rude. Okay, as someone that has a hard time speaking up in crowds, to get interrupted like that is just so freaking rude. Hey, I, I was... It's about lunch. Are we cooking lunch? I mean, that would actually be kind of cool. Everyone cheers. But I do... Uh, how about we listen to the guy who's been through this three times already? Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh! Exactly, Pop. Shh! Uh, in honor of new semester, I prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Um, already the way to my heart. Uh-huh. Uh, that's... That's quite the pose, Miriam. That must be the smell I smell. Girl, calm down. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but you were... The... But were the rumors true? Uh, as he owns a fast food chain, yeah, I'm assuming. Is this? The Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. It contains glimmering in the light. Oh, now I want chicken, darn it. Also, yeah, I made lunch, meaning I went to KFC and I bought a bucket. Feels right. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried in a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. And your arteries clog. But Colonel Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken? What a novel concept! As though we've never seen or heard of this before. Your stomach begins to grumble as if to say, Stop thinking and start eating. Agreed, stomach. Good call. For years, I have been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. Really. By my calculations, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve a perfect balance of flavors. Yes, agreed. You look around and notice that every other student has pen and paper and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But that's all I'll say about that. Oh, share. You think you're a stupid secret recipe, dude? Pshaw. Nah, my dude, ma. It's just, uh, drafted uh, at last. Blah. I am getting my accents messed up here, folks. I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament. In case, um, one of those ingredients is, uh, Poison. Got him. Uh-huh. Smooth. He 
looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at a sick burn. No, that, that burn was kind of anemic. You wait to see what singer Ashley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah, um, I was just, like, writing in my diary. Lies. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Girl, he is mine. I will fight you. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent. As she slides closer to Colonel Sanders, she realizes that he is destined for greatness and fame. With cooking skills like this, she wants him all to herself. Uh-uh, bitch. Where'd you go? Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Agreed. Well, Van Van the Man Man, if you don't want any. Yeah, he, he gets none. He and his silly, silly hair. I'll take his. True to life. And dear lord, every time I look at her outfit, I see something new. Chicken thighs. Or chicken legs on her thighs. In cutout form. Ashley, wh where do you buy this clothes? I kind of want to go. Take me shopping. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. Takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. Really? That, that, that's what that expression is? Oh. Huh. Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Varsa good. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Colonel Sanders, what's actually made right, really is amazing. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports you to another dimension. It's good, it's not that good. Wait, is LSD one of your herbs? Alone with your taste buds gripping the drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. Try to identify every flavor, savor the moment, everything it tells you about the Colonel Sanders culinary heart. Swim toward the light. Mm. You know what, this is a culinary school. So that means I have to have some prowess in the cook in the culinary arts, as it were. Yes? So let's let's try to identify what are the flavors. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it, scrutinizing every flavor. Salt? Maybe. Definitely. Pepper? Too obvious. Uh, no, it's obvious for a reason. Oregano? Basil? Maybe, but there's something else. Yeah, I'm not quite so sure about those two. Something dark, something spicy. You dig deeper, deeper, deeper. Yes, even deeper still, until you find it. Could it be? What? Tell me. He really did it. How bold, how adventurous to use. Give a second, tell me, is it? You try to go even deeper into the sea of flavors, but this revelation alone is more than you can handle. You snap out of it and realize that this information was meant to remain a secret, and yet, now that you know, a mantle of responsibility now rests upon your shoulders. As you look around, you realize that everyone in the room is consumed by lunch. No one noticed that you've traveled through space and time. Yeah, yeah, that, that's kind of a personal inward journey. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. I mean, who wouldn't really? You approach the Colonel. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as you approach. He stops what he is doing and allows you to break the silence. Hi, uh, you made good food, yes? Awesome. Colonel, I wonder if we could talk to you for a second. Anything but a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <laughs> How bold, come out and ask. I am a Yankee, sir. I'm a Yankee. Also, where did you get that staff from? Wait, are, are you a mage? Do you have magic powers? 
I mean, it would explain some of your food choices. The double down and the double decker bowl. I'm just saying. It's an idea I have for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Oh, dude, very big deal. Also, okay, good to know. The restaurants, as I know them, are not already established. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep the secret. Also, I cracked your code. In fact, I've got some of my own that I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? Yeah, girl, down. Well, semester is only getting stuck. It's only three days! We got two more whole days to get to know each other. Yeah, but he might be a dick, and I want to act while I still like you. He's clearly not going to give it up that easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it does. As a person that can be overly present, <laughs> overly persistent at times, yeah, it, it can turn some people off. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel. Shouldn't learning be fun? Actually, I don't know what they say about what. What am I even talking about? Oh, you got Moxie. I'll give you that. Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone, and then leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use... Tell me! It's something my great-great-grandmother taught me. <gasps> tell me! Wow! You'd never have guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you searched. And... Uh, definitely isn't the flavor you tasted before. So now you're two ingredients closer to knowing the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. Well, you're wrapped up in that huge revelation. You notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. Well, everyone else is still in the cafeteria. You decide to look for him. Do I, do I really, or do I just gorge on more chicken? I'm just saying, priorities. You find Colonel Sanders outside, standing in the quad. Again, how does a three-day course have a campus like this? Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Well, sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. You're gonna make beach theme movies. It sounds like you've had big plans. I dare say the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. My clog clogged arteries agree. I find more sats McDonald's fault than yours. Alone together for the first time, you figure now is the perfect moment to show him your personality to- No, no personality. I do not wish to send him screaming away. Make him show your own strength. No bullshit. Wow him with a big idea, add some additional ingredients, really spice things up. Yeah, maybe. Be modest but thoughtful. That, that feels more my speed. Aw, he likes that. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoy your food. Now you've got his attention. Yay! My method worked. The flavors were complex but comforting. I wouldn't say KFC's complex, but we'll say it's comforting. The inner play between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Sylph. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we're only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. Aww! Be sure to head back inside. The next lessons don't soon. Aww. You step into a massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student gets into... <laughs> no, they don't get into the oven, Sylph. This, this isn't a fairy tale. Each student gets an oven and all the tools and ingredients they could need. Now, see, when you say culinary school, this is actually more what I pictured. Look at this place. It's magnificent. Finally, we get to show our stuff. With some of your poses, girl, that's not too far off. Wait a second. Oh no, we have to show our stuff. What if I'm totally blow it? Girl, you're the daughter of Chef Show. You'll be fine. The 
You're not going to blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowd of fans. You're going to earn with your signature adorable tiny food creations. Welcome, students, to Cooking Arena. For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Okay. Naturally, Miriam looks over at you. Then I able to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. I, I, can you blame me? It's, it's the Colonel. Hey, Colonel, would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A team of two, that is, me and you. If that wasn't clear. Oh, we made Miriam cry. What? No, bad me. I want to be my partner. Sure, Sylph. I'll prepare a station. We made our friend cry! Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, girl. <laughs> Hello, new partner. No. Run. Beep boop bzz. Hmm. Oh my. <laughs> Two potential partners. <laughs> I'm so sorry, gentlemen. But I don't know who to choose. The robot. Clearly the robot. Get away from the child. It looks like you'll have to pick for her. Friend duties can be a little awkward, but that's for the price you pay for not being alone forever. <laughs> I don't know. Who do you want to ask me, Miriam's? The robot. Clank. Sorry, Pop. <laughs> Die. But I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. It's not entirely clear if Pop has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. I, I, I just think his parents abandoned him. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll back and forth. Aww. You go get her, Clank. Although, where's Ratchet? Warp, warp, warp. Hold on there, fella. You don't know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not, not even have a face. Uh, I think he has a face. The two dials can, and the eyes blink. How do dials blink? Uh, uh, this game distracts me, but there's something charming and endearing about him. Tissue? I already know you. <laughs> Clank judders as panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Oh, I'm not poking my friend up. Go me. But does he vibrate? Looks like you two will be fine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking class work. Oh, right. I'm here to do stuff. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. It actually takes a flint and a steel, doesn't it? You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest your partner could- If it's not chicken, we're wasting our time here. Steak tartare seems easy enough. It's fancy. You don't have to cook it. Using octopus, blow car, Sanders mine. You know what? I, I think we're good mashed potatoes and gravy. Because they're delicious, and they are simple, and they go with chicken. And hearts. I've always wanted something down home, chef. I think we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. <gasps> and gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Like us. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beat red. Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. Juicy. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please, let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. You, you have some weird passions, my friend. Uh -huh. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? In this version, yeah, shut up, girl. I will fight you. We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business. And you'd better keep your fingers off my man. Girl. No. Did someone call for me? Date each other. You will have weird children. Ugh, 
Now, cheese, bad, bad. While I'm over here crushing silk streams, we're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Oh, you made your friend cry. Jerk. Colonel Sandy's returns, arms full of peeled That was fast. He tosses them into the boiling water and turns attention to you and your old, air quote, friends. Oh, howdy there. Ashley, Van Van. We were working on quartet instead of a duet now. No, they need to leave. Th their background music does not fit here. Actually, no. I looked through like self was struggling. I offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur shops did a lot of mentoring. Okay, I am right there with you, Van Van. Uh, I was going to say Colonel Sanders, maybe? I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get to my level. Ha! Dude, you'd be rude. Can't be. Personally, I have any doubt whatsoever that Colonel Sanders' ability con of creations worthy of admiration. After all, your friend Chicken was quite spectacular. Don't wink at him, girl. He's a goat. But, Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. What is the robot back? Pop back? I, mean, I will punch him. Don't you feel deep down when we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together. Like a thigh in a drumstick. It just makes sense. Girl. Nothing about this makes any sense. But one thing is clear. She's coming for the colonel if you don't watch out. Yes, yes she is. Gosh, she is really mean at you hard. You need to ask some for some backup here before things get ugly. You always marry Miriam? Protect me! Stop me from hurting this girl! You turn to Miriam, and as soon as you find her, she senses it. And looks back. This girl's friend and me radar are second to none. She immediately comes running over. Is somebody threatening my friend? I will destroy them! Uh, girl. Down by about 20, but good sense in. I actually think Ash is going to for just leaving. Leaving you in the dust, vis a vis. My skills as a chef, perhaps? But stepping away from this competition, you are sorely mistaken. Miriam, you're a loyal friend, but Silk is my part of today's activity. You look for sparkles. <laughs> Teacher, help! The class is going crazy. In hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. You look down at your station, realize that in the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream to flavor. It's as if natural possession. <laughs> it's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. Gay autopilot. On you, to do that. On just what to do. Kick these two girls away and let us get back to class. Colonel Sanders extends his hand. He is holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat out with out of which to pour a smooth brown gravy, smothering your nearly finished potato dish. I just ate dinner before starting to record. I don't know why I feel so hungry. And more than maybe a little. Thirsty. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The result looks spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Yeah, especially because my granny mostly did mashed potato from powder. <laughs> Hi. <clears throat> Colonel Sanders holds a spark out for you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spark. 
At that small moment, all of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Indeed it does. Pink sparkle lighting. Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set free. But, but I don't want you to be free range. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift heaping sparkles up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, go for a rage, and without thinking, you fling the sport full of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Oh god, no, stop, go back. Man, do something, do something. Scooping up a fingerful, and <laughs> taste the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy. You realize that it's delicious. Thank you. Horrified by what this revelation, he slinks away. Will we ever be able to cook something so much love and integrity? You know Walt, with hair like his, I, I think he's missing his true calling. I'm just saying, go to beauty school. Nothing wrong being a beautician. Hold on right there, self. We do not place food in the broke cooking arena, Colonel Sanders. I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both better prepare to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I aim for him? The colonel that is, not not you, professor? What's that? Can I have potato space? Yes, come here. I, I will just cram your head down into it. Van Van rushes back over, a covered dish in his hand. What the fuck is this? Mashed potatoes with gravy? Mashed potatoes with gravy? It's just a few minutes. I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon my spectality. Raise tentacle of octopus in a silky saltwater sauce. Plate it on a battle axe blade forged by my supreme chef ancestors. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I've had octopus in the past. I do not personally care for it, but if it's your dish, good for you. I... I don't know how practical it is to eat it off of the nets. Okay. You've ignored me too long. That ends now. It is I who will have first bite, and you will all look at me with envy. Uh, okay. The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off the plate. No! No! Something. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed. I may have turned into the process. The result could be toxic. Too late. It's been eaten. I uh, think it was something in the oven. I don't know. It feels so good. It killed him! Wow, he, he became a ghost and everything. Everyone, step back! Don't take another bite! When you look back at the plate, the rest of it's gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slipped up the pops. You know what? Good. I hope you enjoyed that, kiddo. Pop winces in pain just for a moment, then is immediately back to his oblivious self. Oopsie. Tastes like poison. Wait, you have immunity to poison? Well, this part's my poison type. The entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd as they most They are as motionless as statues. The class bell rings, disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back to reality. It would appear that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite obvious danger, has inoculated him against poisons of all kinds. Oh, he is poison type. Cool. I'm not sure if the professors here make enough money. They really don't, Professor Good Boy. Who wash belly rubs and scratches? You want scratches? I'll give you scratches. Ghost of student. Um, hello? I just turned into a ghost over here. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. 
please do it. Please let me walk you home. Thank you. Such a gentleman. What? Like Horiel? Oh, come on. You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. Aww. It's like a really pretty night. And as day gives way tonight, I am going to cut the video here. And when we come back, maybe this will be a walk to remember. Maybe it'll be a complete and utter clusterfuck in the dark. Guess we'll see. But that'll be next time. So until next, tack like a kiddo. Mm-hmm. <laughs>